coming up on Movie Buff, it's a good week for films. We check out Sean Penn's Oscar-nominated performance in Milk and Anne Hathaway, who's also up for an Academy Award in Rachel Getting Married. Plus, we've been on the red carpet with Tom Cruise. We're gathered here to celebrate love, pure and simple. The invitations have gone out, the dress is sorted, so what could possibly spoil your perfect big day? Well, how's about your drug addict little sister? Hey, didn't I see you on cops? Kim well and truly throws a spanner in the family works in Rachel Getting Married. The gritty, emotional and sometimes comic story follows Anne Hathaway's character as she takes the tentative steps back into so-called normal life. Upsetting wedding plans, parents and pretty much everyone in the process. Your that. suffering is not the most important thing to Who everybody. is saying it is? And despite a CV of squeaky clean roles like The Princess Diaries, the 26-year-old actress was hand-picked for the part of the lying and chain-smoking black sheep. Someone joined up the dots and their first thought was you. Was that, was that a compliment? Oh, hugely, hugely so, because um, Kim, Kim's someone who, you know, definitely she has an extreme personality. You can say that again. <laughs> I've encountered, and I'm sure you can imagine, and, you know, the idea, are you a good girl or a bad girl? And I've gotten that since I was 16 years old, and it's just a, such a silly argument. And so to have a girl that doesn't matter, it was so cool to get to play her. And that, it was Jonathan Demme saying, yeah, I, I see, I see this depth in you. I mean, <laughs> I still kind of can't believe that. Directed by Jonathan Demme, the man who gave us Married to the Mob and Silence of the Lambs, he's given it a flavour of realism thanks to the documentary-style filming, which even saw musicians playing the score live as he shot. But it's this lady they have to thank for the acres of amazing reviews. She's helped the indie feature take on the blockbusters on the award circuit, scooping the odd Best Actress prize. And she hasn't stopped celebrating. Our screenwriter, Jenny Lumet, who's genius has this wonderful expression which is I'm so happy my gums are receding and that's the way I felt for the past two years since I've known Jonathan. Well take a look for yourself and you may also crack a smile. What do you expect me to do? Burn the house down? That was a mattress fire. That was not even at home. It not just from the performances but from the surprising wedding guests who include hip-hop ledge Fab Five Freddy and singer-songwriter Robin Hitchcock. If you haven't heard of Milk yet, and we're not talking about the white stuff, where have you been? The film tells the true story of California's first openly gay elected official, Harvey Milk. I think you're part of the machine now. Society can't exist without the family. We're not against that. Can two men reproduce? No, but God knows we keep trying. He was a San Francisco supervisor who changed people's opinions on homosexuality and left a legacy for future generations. Sadly, Harvey was assassinated by fellow supervisor Dan White before he could finish what he'd begun. I'm not going to be forced out of San Francisco by social deviants and incorrigibles. James Franco stars alongside Sean Penn in the movie and despite living in San Francisco for most of his life, he was unaware of Harvey Milk's amazing story. Sadly and Surprisingly, I you know was never taught anything about Harvey Milk when I was when I was growing up there, and so um, I just think it's uh, important that that this story gets out there, and, and uh, it's one of the only ways I think it it will get out there because you know they don't they don't teach it in schools at least not right now. And let's face it, our reporter Sarah Mills had to ask one simple question: Is Madonna's ex a good kisser? Yeah, it's fine. Is any of those things awkward? Did you kind of have a chat before the first one? No, don't really talk about it, just do it. Well, I guess that's all he's going to say about that, so let's round things off with the writer, Dustin Lance Black. He's the guy on the left. The man on the right is director Gus Van Sant. Anyway, Dustin says that the film really does carry an important message, even today. You know, there's still areas of the United States, certainly, and, and most likely of um, Europe and the United Kingdom where kids don't know that they can come out. They don't know that they have gay and lesbian forefathers who fought for their rights. Um, so recognition like this, I think, hopefully gets the word out and gets people to go see it in the theaters. And, you know, Harvey's probably laughing and smiling somewhere up there watching all this happen. I've got my hat, my scarf, and my gloves on, so I'm ready for tonight's premiere because it could be a long one. I've even got two jumpers and a vest on because tonight is not just any old premiere. 
It's a Tom Cruise premiere, and that can only mean one thing, the mother of all autograph signing sessions. With Tom's legendary walkabouts, the waiting crowds are hoping for a chance to get up close and personal with a Hollywood superstar. And they're not being disappointed tonight. Somewhere in that crowd is Tom Cruise, surrounded by police, security guards, come rain or shine. He always spends an extra long time with his British fans. Yes, come rain, shine, or even a chilly January night in London. Hi, how are you? Thank you, very much. you are a little bit of a Leicester Square legend. Your premier, hey, really? you, your premiers, you always spend so long um, walking about talking to fans. I think the only other person to rival you is Will Smith. Um, why is it so important for you to, to come out here for so long and see everybody? It's fun. They're coming out here to say hello to me, and, and it's fun. You know, it's a fun thing to do. You should have worn a coat, though. A coat, a scarf. I think, I think you know what. I think I'm gonna. When I get to the end here, I think I'm gonna grab a coat, scarf, and some gloves. I think. Uh, I did not anticipate how chilly it was gonna be. You look nice and warm. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not silly, Tom. Two pairs of socks. That's my tip for next time. Gentlemen, we can save Europe from total destruction. We have to show the world. But not all of us will like him. Historical thriller Valkyrie is the true story of a 1944 conspiracy to assassinate Hitler and seize control of Germany from the Nazis. My country, I have betrayed my conscience. Mr. and Mrs. Cruz arrived super early for the official unveiling of the movie. While Katie went straight indoors, her hubby spent the next two hours talking to the waiting press and fans. They may have been married over two years, but any mention of his wife produces this just walk down the aisle type grin. She was in Berlin with me last night and then she's here. Oh, that's yeah, very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Tom Cat were joined at the premiere by the rest of the cast, including Eddie Izzard and Bill Nye. Now, the critics have had plenty to say about this movie, but you can judge for yourself, good or bad, because it's out this Friday, the 23rd.